Let's take a look at some of the magazines we yeah. have over there. Now, you, I think, here, you're much more familiar with Up From Under. I mean, I, or, or this one, Battle Act, I don't know. Battle Axe, I don't really yeah, know, but I do notice that Battle Axe has a, uh, a feature article on International Women's Day, right. which of course had been celebrated in Europe for many years, yes. and which yes. the feminist movement of the 1970s picked up again. Yes, definitely. And the battle acts look as though they are, I mean, I think the arguments, I mean, the title of battle act speaks for itself. Yes. Battle act. Battle act. This is a 1972 edition of what was a pretty typical looking mm. magazine. Mm. They were all these they sort all of like off printed yeah. thing. And here on International Women's Day, we salute the women of Ireland who had been battling along with Americans. Oh, yes. Oh, Mother Bloor, yes, Mother <coughs> Bloor was a radical, you might call her a radical agitator of the yeah. early 20th century. And I don't think she was, she wasn't agitating for women's rights, though. Was she, she was, was labor, wasn't she? She was la a labor agitator, exactly. But she was not unconscious of women's rights. No, no. Right. 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 The, the subways, subways should oh, be this is free. Really right up your alley. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, it's right all... up my alley in the sense that we all remember the days when the subways were not exactly a dangerous place, but certainly a sexually oh. harassing place. Oh God, yes. Yeah. In in those years, yeah. Right. But look at this one. This is a one that had a much yes. wider circulation. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And was perhaps one of the icons of the feminist early feminist movement. Uh, up, it was called Up, from, Up under. from Under, right? And this is a 1971 issue, right. raising some of the issues of how women actually move themselves up from under. Right. So here we have a sympathetic comment to the retail sales clerk who mm -hmm. is, um, who occupies a huge position among working women. But the one I really enjoyed in this is the women who take care of children. Yeah. He is an early piece of, uh, you know, a yeah. relatively empathetic piece. Uh, these, the babies are obviously twins and they are being cared for by a single black woman who looks pretty harassed and <laughs> perhaps uh, she certainly does. wishing she could put one of the babies down <laughs> <laughs> at least. But yeah. it, this is interesting to me because of course that early feminist movement was accused of being uh, antinatalist. Oh yeah, oh children. yeah. And so here we have a sympathy not for the mother of the children yeah. but for the caretaker yeah. of the children. You know, it wasn't exactly anti-natalist, meaning anti-having children, right? Anti-giving birth to children. As much as it was, from my perspective, this uh, contradictory, startling, unexpected view of motherhood itself. In other words, it was like mm -hmm. puncturing the romance. Um, when all the women who were saying, let me tell you what it's really like to be a mother, and out were coming all these horrendous right. reports on, that's really how I remember it, but I guess it would lead yes. to although I, children don't have children. Since I had a since you had children, small you're in a close kid at that period, and I remember the sort of it was almost hostility towards you know people. Children weren't children. really welcome at marches. Uh, if they were there, you sort of took care of them on your own. There was not the sort of group no uh, sensibility no, no, about no, definitely them. Definitely not. So it yeah. certainly wasn't a an empathetic period no, for it people wasn't. with children. It was, yeah. so. No, it, it was definitely not. Uh, and we know, of course, that the um, uh, birth rate went down yeah. dramatically during those, in those years. In those years. Uh, here's a piece on investigating Nancy <laughs> Drew, which exposes the sexism in what should have been a non-sexist story about a woman. Oh, really? Woman, How does it do that? Uh, I don't remember detective. the actuality of Nancy Drew. I mean, I remember the... Well, the clothes that she wore and oh, the, the hesitation clothes. before she plunged and the language, always polite, that she used and oh. so on. Oh. 
It was a time of immense discovery, right? It certainly was. Yeah.